Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we have breaking news from Fox 31 News out of Denver, Colorado, that police have new evidence in the Gannon Stout case. Gannon Stout is an 11-year-old boy who went missing from Colorado Springs, Colorado last Monday, January 27th. He was last seen by his stepmother at his home on the day of his disappearance. Search parties have been searching the area for Gannon all weekend, but we have not received any updated information until today. According to news reports today, police have received a new piece of evidence to further the investigation into Gannon's whereabouts. They say the evidence came from a neighbor's security camera, but that they have been asked by the police not to release it just yet in order to not compromise anything in the search for Gannon. A concerned neighbor who lives a few doors down from Gannon's home decided to do some investigating into the case. He said he was unable to sleep one night and decided to go through surveillance footage. He must be referring to the surveillance footage on his home security cameras, but it's not stated in the report. Anyway, he found something. He cannot reveal what he saw just yet, but he saw something. He said he was watching on his tablet and then decided to watch on his TV just to be sure. Whatever he saw, people, it couldn't have been good. Because he said once he was sure of what he saw, he took the footage to Gannon's father. And the neighbor said that Gannon's dad called detectives right away and broke down crying. The neighbor said that detectives were moved by the footage also, and that they said it was the break that they needed in the case. Thank God he did that. Fox 31 says that they will release the footage as soon as the detectives say it's okay to do so. I got the chills when I heard this. It can't be good. I sincerely hope it doesn't mean that Gannon's not going to be found safe, but the father's reaction doesn't sound good to me. He either saw something on that footage, or he didn't. If he didn't, then maybe they know for sure that Gannon never left the house that Monday to go visit a friend at all. Or they saw something else, like Gannon got into a car with someone, or maybe he was carried out of the house and placed into a vehicle. Something. I don't think this is good. It's not too good for the stepmom at this point. I could be very wrong, but they saw something on that footage. Either that or they didn't see anything and Gannon never left his home. The news report also says that the search is being centered around Gannon's home and that investigators have been seen leaving with evidence bags. I wonder if there are areas of the house that went unchecked, like the attic and maybe a crawl space, but this doesn't look good. All we can do now is wait to see what the detectives, or when the detectives allow the news to show the footage so we can see for ourselves. In the meantime, this poor boy's life may still be in danger. Please join me in praying for a safe return and that we don't get a bad ending in this one. This is so heartbreaking. I will link to the news story in the description box so you can see what the neighbor had to say. And I will see you on my next video. Take care.